Hi, I am Shirley. I am an artist and instructor at Bainbridge Island Museum of Art. Here with another art in action. Today we will be creating ceramic holders. First, I want to show you all the materials that we will use for this project. Here are the wooden modeling tools, a sponge, a fishing line or wire, two wood guide sticks around a quarter inch high, a wooden or metal cutter, a wooden rolling pin, round lids and containers, the containers will help us to mark the circles, but also we can do this with the cookie cutter. We are going to use also some metal or wood ribs to compress the clay. And of course, we will need a canvas board. I will start with the red clay and because it's uh, wet, it's too wet, I will not use the wire. I will take it directly from the packaging and I will take the canvas board and I will wedge. Wedging or kneading are steps one must not avoid before starting any project in clay. We would like to compress and wedge the clay as much as possible because we would like to be sure that there is no air bubbles trapped in the clay. And it also makes sure that the moisture is really well spread out so that I can work making my clay slabs evenly. I clean my tools and I will let my slab dry just until it's leather hard. I will draw the circles and I cut them or I use the cookie cutter. I recommend to make a few different sizes but always bigger than a tea light container. Remember that clay shrinks during the firing process. Now we are going to make the cylinder with the white clay. It is important to develop a greater understanding of the stages of the clay so you know when to use it for your ceramic construction process. In this case, the consistency of the clay is softer than leather hard, of course. I will use now a 90 degree square and I will cut the slab with the wooden modeling tool. With the red lid, I am going to make some more circles and I will shape the cylinder. Notice that I didn't compress this clay, it's different than the terracotta clay. Now, scoring and slapping. Scoring is when I scratch the surface that needs to be attached and after I score the surface, I apply slab over the score area and this acts like a glue. After that, I blend it. So blend is when with the tool, I pull clay from one side to the other one or vice versa. These three steps, scoring, slapping and blending, make my attachment stronger. I let my cylinder dry until it's leather hard. After that, I will use the sponge to smooth the surface. Mm -hmm. 
I mixed the red and white clay to make a little stamp that I will add to my cylinder. I attach it with the three steps I explained before, scoring, slapping, blending. With a little bit of water and the sponge, I smooth the two pieces of my candlestick. Now I will draw the shapes that I will have to cut and remove. Try to make enough holes for your candle to stay lit. An easy way to poke holes is to use a small plastic cap as a tool. Thanks for watching, see you next time, please share any artwork you have inspired by this project. This is Art in Action.